Hey guys, I am going out of town for business for a couple days this coming week, so I thought I would film a what's in my travel makeup bag slash, um, this is bad, but this is basically what I carry um, with me to work every day as well. So this is kind of my, I don't know, everyday makeup bag, but I'm making it work for a longer trip. So uh, I'm going to be gone uh, two nights, basically two days of kind of getting ready. Uh, and this is um, brushes for the most part and makeup. So I have in the past kind of carried um, a larger makeup bag and a separate brush roll, but I really wanted to try and slim it down as much as possible just because I don't know, I like it better when it's all contained and I don't really have to feel like I'm carrying a bunch of different stuff. So anyway, this is the uh, Stephanie Johnson Gracie uh, brush bag, I believe, and this um, exact color combination is no longer available, uh, but you can get the similar model in different patterns. So. I'm going to open it up. It has a zipper. I have to say, these are a little bit more on the expensive side, but they're very well made. Um, you feel like it's going to last. It feels much more substantial than something you'll kind of pick up at Target or whatever. So, all right. Ooh. So, um, I do have this kind of packed to the brim. Uh, and if I can carry it or hold it up without drop. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, basically this has one large compartment here that you can, yeah. <laughs> it's not meant to be held up vertically. Um, but anyway, you have one large compartment here and then you have, I'll probably, I'll show you more in depth, um, but basically you have, uh, four different, um, brush holders, I guess, and then this little flap, which is nice because, uh, just to keep any of the brushes from kind of, you know, catching on stuff in the compartment or any products that you have on the brushes you can kind of keep clean a little bit. Alright, so I will just kind of go through um, everything I have in this compartment here. Alright, so um, this is the Lorac Touch Up To Go Concealer Pen, which I've mentioned in a previous review. Um, and this is good. Um, like, you could definitely make do with this, or at least I feel I could. Um, I think in addition to this, though, I am going to bring, um, this is the Tarte BB Cream. It's like a uh, tinted moisturizer. It's what I'm wearing now. Um, it does provide coverage. Obviously, it's not full coverage, but it has a little bit of sunscreen. Um, if you just kind of feel like you need just a little, you know, bit of something on there. Um, and I'll probably... I don't know if I'll just throw this in separately because this isn't something I normally bring with me to work. So I'm basically kind of just taking what I have on a daily basis and, and making do, like I said. So um, anyway, I'll bring this and I have a, um, a Real Techniques, uh, which one is this, buffing brush to um, apply this with. So um, I might just throw these in my like general toiletry bag. All right. so. Um, I have just a general mirror. This one's from Chanel, <laughs> which was a bit of a splurge, but it's just your basic two-sided mirror. It comes in a little velvet case like that. Um, I have a solid perfume. This is Stella by Toka. And this is nice. I especially like um, when I have to travel on a longer plane ride. Like, this is a nice citrusy scent, and um, you know how airplanes have that really bizarre smell. Anyway, this just kind of helps, you know, freshen you up, especially if you, yeah, exactly, <laughs> most come to say hi. Um, if you land somewhere at like 6 a.m. or something and, you, you know, you just feel kind of gross, um, that's nice. It's not something too heavy, like too musky or too much of like sandalwood or whatever that you're going to like just feel kind of like, I don't know, heavy and gross. All right, so, and then I have, this is the Clinique Airbrush Concealer for under my eyes. Um, this is one of those, like, kind of brightening pen concealers. Uh, I have a Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream, which I'm almost out of, but, um, I don't know, this, this is just one of those things, like, I just feel better for having it. Um, 
you know, you can kind of make do with lotion, but you just feel like that extra bit of like, if your hands get really dry, it's kind of nice just to have this. No, it's not closing. Um, and I don't think I have it in this bag. I think I may have taken it out at my desk at work, but I usually always have um, some sort of lotion and a lip balm. Like, I just like to stay nice and moisturized. Um, I forget if I mentioned this, but I am taking the train, so I don't have to worry about, um, like, the TSA rules and all that. Okay. So, and I also have in here an eye cream. Um, and this is something, too, like, if I'm applying makeup out, um, I like to kind of make sure that I'm nice and hydrated before I put any concealer on, just so it doesn't get, like, really dry and gross. So, anyway, this is just a tiny Bobbi Brown hydrating eye cream. So just a little like sample size, but it, it definitely lasts. All right, so then I have, um, this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, which I use to kind of keep my brows in place. Again, this is a travel size. Um, I think so far the only thing, like the, the BB cream is full size and this is full size, but neither of these take up a whole lot of room. Oh, and this, I guess, is full size, even though it's like a solid form. Anyway, um, so then I have two um, Tarte blushes. One is Dollface, um, which is a nice matte kind of baby doll pink. And this one is in Magic, which is, again, another matte blush, but um, more of a coral shade. Um, and I am traveling for business so if I were just if I were going like I don't know to the beach or something for a couple days my products would kind of change a little bit but um, the mute the makeup I wear or will wear will be pretty subtle all right so I have a NARS pro prime smudge proof eyebrow base or eyeshadow base I don't know why I said eyebrow um, but this is about the same size uh, another sort of travel size there uh, I think really the key, like, trying to kind of pack all your products in, it's important to kind of keep things as sort of minimal as possible. Like, if you can get a smaller size or a sample or travel, whatever. Um, this is a Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Demolition, which is, um, I think, just a matte dark brown. So, pretty um, universal or... Um, you can make it work for a lot of different things. All right, so then oh, I have another one in here. This is in Underground, which is more of a kind of shimmery copper color. Um, and because I have, oops, <laughs> dropping stuff here. Um, because I have these guys, I also have a Urban Decay Grindhouse um, eye sharpener. And this has, um, I guess, a normal eyeshadow size. Um, or eye pencil one, and then also a bigger, I guess a lip pencil would probably be what it would be used for. Um, so yeah, so this isn't the most compact one, but I happen to have an extra one of those, so. All right, and then we have, I'm not doing this in any real particular order. Um, there's this Chanel Inimitable Intense. Uh, mascara. I really, I don't know, I just think the tube of this is really cute. But again, another sort of little guy. This was a sample from a purchase, so. All right. And because I have very sort of stick straight lashes, like I always have an eyelash curler, and I've tried, this is a Shuamura one, which is a little bit more expensive than your general one, but I found that for me it's, it's worth it. And I don't bother to replace it as often as they tell you to, but... Um, yeah, I've tried some of the like travel size ones that are compact and they're, you know, they kind of fold up, but they always seem to crimp my lashes and I would rather just kind of make room for one of these guys. So, um, let's see, I guess moving, okay, so I have one lip product. This is a YSL, I think I showed this before, Rouge Volupe Shine in number eight which is a really pretty kind of sheer, shiny pink color, kind of natural, but if you just want a little something to kind of, um, you know, take your look to the next level. Okay, so then we have, um, this is a 
Tweezerman kit. I think you can find this at Sephora. But basically this has a mini, I don't know what you call this guy actually. It's like a cuticle pusher, I guess. Um, a mini uh, metal nail file. Um, and then it came with um, like a cuticle snipper. And I've also put in here, because it happens to fit, it's a small um, Anastasia, uh, what are these called, tweezers. So that fits in there nicely, kind of keeps all these little tools together. So have that. And because I, I prefer um, like crystal or glass nail files to the metal ones, I have a, this is Nail Tech, which is the best that I've found really in terms of this type of nail file. Like I think I've tried ones from Julep, um, just like your no-name eBay guys. I haven't tried Sephora's in-house brand, but anyway, this again is a little bit more expensive, but it's worth kind of spending the money on because it lasts too, unless you break it like I have <laughs> before. Um, but anyway, so another tool, and then I guess, well, I'll show you. I'll show you the eyebrow eyebrow eyeshadow palettes I have in here before I move on to the tools, brushes, that sort of thing. Um, so I have a Naked Basics palette, which is um, really nice and compact. Um, again, if you're a fan of Urban Decay, I'm sure you've seen this. Um, but it has Venus, which is kind of like a, um, for me, it's like an all over lid brightening color or a highlight. Um, Foxy, which is like a matte cream. WS, which is I think is Walk of Shame. Um, it's kind of more of a peachy cream. Um, Naked 2, which is a nice matte taupe. Um, Faint, which is like a medium brown it's matte. And then Crave, which is a, I think black, really. Um, and it's also matte as well. And so you can use that as a liner if you want, or if you have, I guess, the right skin tone, you could kind of use it to deepen the crease. Um, but yeah, you could basically use these as kind of highlight all over lid and then use these um, in the crease. So you could definitely do an, um, full eye look with those. And I also have, uh, this is one of their make your own or customizable, um, palettes. And nice thing about this is it has a really, um, hello, um, nice big mirror and then you can fit four. So, and this is, which I want to say melt was the name of this one here. Um, it, most of these come with, yeah, melts the name of it, um, come with a shade, um, an eyeshadow. And this one is, I don't know, kind of a shimmery peachy color. Um, so anyway, so I have that and what else did I put in here? I can't remember. Yeah, this is kind of a, um, I don't know, it has kind of a sheen to it. It's kind of like an off-white. That's uh, not going to show up. And then I also have um, Virgin, which is like an all-over highlight, and um, Naked, which is a matte light brown. So this is usually my like all-over crease, or all-over crease, all-over eye, and this is usually my crease if I'm using the Naked palette, um, which is sort of like one of my go-to um, everyday eye looks. So anyway, I like having that. All right, so, and I kind of, the way I pack this too, if I need to, I um, try to put the palettes on the bottom. Oh, and by the way, this is lined in plastic too, so if you do have anything that's gonna leak, um, it'll at least kind of offer some protection. Um, so I'll put those on the bottom and then kind of fill in with uh, all the other products I have. And usually put like the cuticle cream or, I don't know what I would kind of grab for. I don't know, maybe maybe like the nail file or something put on the top so I can kind of access it. All right, and in this general compartment too, I have um, a few um, double-sided eye um, brushes. And usually I'm not a huge fan of these because, I mean, you pretty much have to store them in a bag because you can't kind of put them in a brush roll or anything like that, um, unless it's just like loops or something. But um, Anyway, I figured I'd throw these in there just because I had them. Um, this is from Tarte. This is from one of their uh, QVC sets, I believe, a while ago. Um, but it kind of has an all-over fluffy eyeshadow brush and then a more kind of domed crease brush. 
And then these two are from um, Mini Couture, which is actually, at some point I was going to do a review. Um, I think these came in this um, bag, or like I bought them at the same time from Hot Look. Um, yeah, but I guess this is like an independent brand, and this is kind of like, the idea is that you would have this as like your go-to makeup bag or whatever, but it wasn't big enough for me, as sad as that is. So, anyway, I happen to have these brushes. Um, again, this is kind of a, an all-over shader, kind of more of a tapered dome crease brush, and I will say, though, that the quality of these is, is pretty good. They're nice and soft. Um, and then you have like a kind of rounded liner brush, I guess you would use it for, and then this could be either a liner, it's like an angled um, liner or eyebrow brush. Alright, so that is it for the main compartment. And then these brushes, um, or brush holders, a uh, good tip I guess is if you have a skinnier brush is you can um, double it up with other products and that will help it from sliding out and you also get more storage space. Um, and if you don't have as many brushes, you can also like slide um, a pencil in there or maybe a concealer or something else that would kind of fit. Alright, so I have, this is a, you could use it for a powder brush, but generally I use this um, for blush. So that's in the first one. And then I have, this is a um, Sonia Kashuk crease brush from Target, which is nice. Um, this is another um, mini couture um, shader. I think this might be like the same as this guy. They look pretty identical, but I don't know. I have it in there. Figured why not. Um, this one is a uh, Bare Essentials Soft Focus Eyeshadow, and I kind of use this for, I think this is synthetic, I'm pretty sure. Um, the other ones are natural, I believe. Um, but this is good for kind of buffing in concealer under the eye, or elsewhere on the face if you need to. Um, I have a Real Techniques um, like lash groomer and um, eyelash separator in case you know they're kind of sticking. I also like that it's purple and the whole inside of this is purple. I really like purple. <laughs> Alright, so um, then we have, this is again I think a duplicate of this side. Um, maybe not quite, I don't know, this one looks a little wider, or just maybe when it was made it came out different, if that makes sense. But anyway, a little um, angled brush, and I like this for kind of smudging out the eyeliner, the 24-7. And then this is a, oh, there's a lot of powder on there, <laughs> um, this is a E25 Sigma makeup brush, and this is, I think, like, a while ago if you purchase something from them, they would send you a mini, like, travel deluxe sample size brush. Um, and that's what this is. This is basically a... Yeah. <laughs> basically a dupe of the um, 217 from MAC. And since... Um, yeah, the 217 is really good, but I just... I didn't really want to spend the money on getting one for kind of travel. Um, so anyway, that is all the brushes, and basically, like, I have this to kind of blend foundation. Um, I'm not bringing any sort of looser pressed powder. I would probably need to bring another brush for that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, for my basic look, I can get away with, with just that. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, um, seeing what I'll be bringing with me, um, if I do any sort of travel kind of packing videos in the future, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, but thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.